Have you ever used affirmations only to realize that they're not really working so well? Maybe they're making you feel good in a moment as you're reading it, but maybe you're then also having doubts coming up as you're reading them and you feel like that this is not really working for you or it's not giving you what you want and that there's something missing. Now, if you've ever tried using affirmation and you had that feeling that something is missing, then in this video, I want to share with you why affirmations alone are not really working and what that really that missing piece is to make those affirmations really work for you so you can really change your life, change your mindset, and also create a new reality based on what you truly want. So stay tuned. Hello beautiful soul, welcome back to another video and if you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm so excited that, that you're here. Now my name is Kay Sanders and this channel is all about helping awakening souls awaken to their power within, uncover who they really are deep within and also step into their power and create a life of more success, abundance and freedom all while living their life on purpose. And if that's you, I do want to extend an invitation. Please be sure to subscribe and also hit the notification bell so you can get notified whenever I release new content. So let's just touch real quick on what exactly are affirmations in case you're not sure what exactly they are. I mean, by now you probably have heard of it and you probably know what it is, but just in case. So affirmations are basically words and phrases, positive words and phrases that you keep reading to yourself, keep saying to yourself in hope to change your mindset, in hope to change your belief, and then in order to create a better reality for yourself, to create a reality that you really want based on what you keep telling yourself. So for example, affirmations could be making money is easy. I'm good enough to get started. I can create the life that I want. Money flows to me easily. Attracting clients is easily. Finding a loving partner is easy. I deserve to be wealthy. I deserve to be rich. I deserve to whatever it is that you want. So, and, and usually affirmations can also be longer sentences. Like I'm so happy and grateful now that I live the life that of my dreams, that everything comes to me easily. Things like that. That's basically what affirmations are. It's positive phrases to help you also shift your vibration, to shift in a different energy, and also then, of course, to help you then align to what it is that you really want based on those uh, affirmations that you're saying. But if you've tried that before, if you have tried affirmations and you notice that they're not really working and you're not really getting the results that you want or your monkey mind is kind of keeps kicking in as you're reading them or as you're re rehearsing your affirmations and telling you like, no, this is not happening and no, you're not good enough, then there's a reason for it. Because when you read or even say those affirmations, yes, they may make you feel good in the moment. But then also you may have deep down your monkey mind saying, Haha, you're crazy, that ain't never gonna happen, right? So your, your monkey mind, your ego is laughing at you because there is a, a disconnect there because you can't just say those affirmations or read those affirmations and keep ingraining them if deep down you have beliefs that are the opposite. Yes, affirmations are supposed to help you change that, but the thing is, if you're not digging deep, uncovering, well, what are those core beliefs? What are you feeling? What are you believing? Then there's a contradiction. Because if you have that programming that contradicts the affirmations you're trying to put in, that you're trying to program, it's causing that that inner disconnect. Because if you're saying, well, making money is easy, but then your, money, your monkey mind says, uh, no, it's not. Do you not see that big pile of bills? And you, did you not just check your bank account and it tells you a completely different story? Things like that. So the affirmations then actually cause a lot of friction because as you're reading them, then you're like, yeah, it feels great, but, right? There's a big but coming. And the thing is you need to uncover really what is at the root cause of your beliefs. What are those beliefs that you actually have? Because as you're reading the affirmation and you're paying attention to what your monkey mind then, then tells you, that can give you some insights in what's really going on deep within. So let's say, let's use making money is easy as an example. That was like one of the mantras that I used a lot, one of the affirmations. And every time when I said that, my monkey mind said, uh, no, you're not good enough to make that kind of money. You're not good enough to make money easily. Who are you to think that you can do that, right? And look at your bank account. So I had all these things going on. So you want to pay attention whenever you're reading those affirmations, pay attention what is going on deep within and then really uncover the root of that. So you need to uncover really the, the negative charge, uh, the negative energy around those deeper rooted beliefs that you hold that contradict 
the affirmation. You want to really dig deep into the core beliefs that you have. So you can actually use those affirmations to uncover that. And I share with you here in a moment also how you can really uh, dig deeper and really change that so you can make the affirmations work for you. But when you use the affirmations to kind of find out what what is my monkey mind actually saying, what are my core beliefs, you can then really use the affirmations to kind of get a better idea of what's really go going on beneath the surface. And then from there, what's really missing here is it's not just enough to, like I said, to read those affirmations, but really to uncover those deeper rooted beliefs of what is really going on beneath the surface, then reframing that and then really stepping into and embodying those new beliefs that you want to ingrain. And you want to really instill those new beliefs through the affirmations, but then go the extra mile, go deeper, take that extra step, because it's not just okay just to read it and, and try to believe them, but then you also want to really embody them. Uh, what I mean with that, as you're saying the affirmations, as you're speaking them, as you're reading them, as you're rehearsing them, whatever it is, you want to really step into it, like not just believe it, but also embody it and feel it and really make it your own really be that be that affirmation so that's why affirmations alone don't work because you can't just keep reading and saying or even listening to affirmations if there's stuff going on deep beneath the surface that is actually contradicting what you're trying to instill so let me share with you some tips on what you can do to really start making affirmations work for you because they work if you're doing it the right way if you are going that extra mile like I just I just hinted about really embodying it so what you can do is when you have your affirmations you want to really uncover what are the core beliefs that you hold like at the root of them so you can use your affirmations let's say you already have affirmations a list of affirmations or the things that you really want what you can do is really tune in what are my beliefs really about that can I really, do I really believe I can make money easily? Do I really believe that I can have anything and everything I want? If you're getting a no, which is perfectly fine by the way, right? So this is all something that you can do without judgment. And I really want to invite you, never judge yourself for anything that is going on because awareness gives you the power of choice. So when you become aware that, well, you know, I really don't believe I can have everything I want. I don't believe I'm good enough. I don't believe I deserve or anything like that. I don't believe making money is easy. That is so powerful because when you have the awareness of the, having those beliefs, well, then you can do something about it, which I'm about to share with you. So you have your affirmations, or even if you don't have affirmations and you really want to, you know, change your life around, you can tune in and see what are my beliefs. You know what it is that you want. You know the kind of life you want. You know the kind of things you want to manifest. Then tune in. What are your core beliefs about that, about you actually having, about you actually achieving that? Go to the root of it, uncover as much as you can. Then when you have it and you ideally you want to do it in writing because then you have something on paper, you can then really then uh, go to the next step is really tuning in and see the truth here. Is it really true that you can't make enough money or that making money is hard? Now here it may be your truth because you started to believe then that's what you created. But it's not of a higher truth. And what I mean with a higher truth is like if you're looking around, is everyone on a collective level having that problem that making money is hard? No, because there's so many self-made millionaires out there. Is it really true that you can't ever find a loving partner? It may have been your truth up until this point, but it's not a collective truth, right? So you really want to uncover what is the truth here? What is the higher truth? Like I said, this may have been your truth up until this point, but it is not a collective truth. Because there are so many people out there that have exactly what you want and it wasn't that hard for them to get that. Of course, it required work on their part, but it wasn't like what you're experiencing right now. Or maybe it was and they figured out a way how to get out of it. But the thing is, you want to really uncover the, the truth and the higher truth. The higher truth is... Yes, there's someone out there for you. Yes, you can make a lot of money doing something that you love. Yes, you are good enough to get started, right? So you want to see the higher truth. That's the second step here. Then the third one is you want to decide what do you want to believe instead. Like if your belief has been up until this point that you can't have what you want, that it's going to be really, really hard, turn it around. I can allow this to be easy. 
Uh, this can be easy for me. I can have what I want. And of course, here you also made an also want to then clear out a negative charge around those negative beliefs because another reason why affirmations often don't work is because like I said, if you have those deep rooted core feelings, well, they come from somewhere, right? And those deep rooted core feelings, they also hold a negative charge. And when you keep trying to put positive affirmations on top of, you know, all the negative that's there, the negative doesn't go away. Those core beliefs don't really go away. The negative charge around those core beliefs don't really go away. So you want to really clear those those negative uh, emotions around whatever happened because every belief that you have, it came from somewhere. Whether it's you experienced something, you were taught something, or anything like that, but it came from somewhere. So you may want to also clear out that negative charge. One of the things I love to do is, beside light language, is using whole ponopono. It's an Hawaiian mantra where you just keep repeating, I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you, I love you. You're really tuning into whatever negative thing that you want to release, the negative charge, and you keep repeating that to release the negative charge around it. Or of course you can do any other healing modality to release the negative charge around those emotions because you really want to release it in order to then bring in the new. So think of it like that. You want to take out the trash before you put a new trash bag in, right? So it's kind of like the same thing. Your negative beliefs, your, the negative charge around them, it's kind of like that trash that needs to be taken out first in order to put a clean trash bag. And I know this is a horrible analogy. <laughs> Don't beat me up over it. But the core of what I just mentioned is basically saying you need to clear out the old in order to allow in something new. So clearing out the negative energy around all of those core beliefs, all of those deep rooted beliefs that you hold that you're not good enough, you can't do it, it's not going to be easy, yada, 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 all of that stuff. You want to clear that out on a cellular level, on a deep inner level. And then when you have clean, cleared out that negative charge, then reframe your beliefs into positive ones because then when you are in here create those affirmations because then when you've cleared out the negative charge then when you're using affirmations then you're starting to reprogram it and then here you want to go the extra mile you want to embody them daily so if you really want to create more abundance in your life or you want to become more successful whatever it is or start attracting that loving partner that that you want you want to embody that. You want to embody those affirmations. And what I mean with that is as you're reading them, you want to really tune into that. You want to feel it. You want to see it. You want to visualize. You really want to tap into that energy because you create your reality from the inside out. So by you just re rehearsing those uh, affirmations or you keep repeating those affirmations or even listening to them, they're not going to do anything if you don't change your energetic state. When you read your affirmation, you really feel it like, yes, 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 this is it, this is it, this is what I want, I'm, I can see it, I can feel it, I can taste it, it's there, it's coming. That's how you, when you ramp yourself up like that, you're raising your vibration and then you're creating from the inside out because then you're, you're changing your state. You're changing your energetic state, your vibrational state, and that's how you then attract it. That is really the missing piece of making affirmations work. Like I said, just reading it alone or listening to them won't do anything. Even if you're writing them down every single day, doesn't do anything if you're not putting in the emotion behind it, the feeling, because you want to be embodied. You want to become that version of you who really has what you are, what you're repeating that, that matches those affirmations. It starts from within and it's not just about believing it. Well, believing is really key here too, but it's believing it and then being it from the inside out, really tapping into the energy of you actually having that, that vibration, that frequency of you actually having what you want. That is the magic to making affirmations really work. That's also the magic of how manifestation really works. It's an inside job. It's what you feel within that attracts your reality. So think about your life right now. Where do you feel like you're, you're missing something? And then really uncover what I just shared with you. Uncover your core beliefs about that. Uh, see the truth and the higher truth. Decide what you want instead. Then clear those negative charge around whatever you know, your, whatever your core beliefs are, whatever the negative uh, impact is around it that's really holding you back right now. And then reframe those beliefs that you have into positive and then embody that. 
really create those positive intentions, those positive affirmations, but then read it, feel it, visualize it, really embody it at the core level, and then allow it to unfold. That is really key here. But that is basically why affirmations don't, don't work. I tried it in the past as well, and I didn't tap into really feeling it. I didn't tap into embodying it. And of course, I just read all the affirmations. I'm like, okay, it feels great, but hey, pfft, you know, nothing was happening. And then my monkey mind kept telling me, well, it sounds great, but <laughs> no, you're crazy. It ain't going to happen, right? Once I start embodying my affirmations, really feeling into it and clearing out all the things that was holding me back, then my affirmations really start to unfold because I was embodying that. And I want to invite you to embody your affirmations. So here you go. I hope you enjoyed this video, but I have a question for you. Have you ever tried affirmations and how are they working for you? Do you find that affirmations are really working or how do you make them work for you? I would love to know. Leave a comment below. Let me know. And also, if you like this video, do me a favor, hit the like button, maybe even share it with someone that you think that could benefit from hearing this. But here you go. You now you I hope you have a better understanding of why affirmations alone don't really work and really what that missing piece is, which is really embodying it, feeling it, being it, and then creating it from the inside out. But I'm so grateful that you're here. Be sure to check out this next video here about how to really step into living your soul's mission in 2022 because this is really, really important. I hope you're gonna enjoy that video and I will see you in the next video. Until then, make it an amazingly abundant, successful day. Namaste.